Welcome to Three Phase Motors Part Three video. In this video, we are going to see about the slip and rotor frequency of three phase induction motor. It's a romantic stroll. We are seeing two persons are moving on this uh, machine together. What are the chances of slipping from this area? Will they slip? When they will not slip? When they are moving together, there is zero chance of slip. And when the speed is different, there is more chances of slip. And if one person is stopping running, then there is ten percentage chance of slip. So you now you are getting the idea of slipping. And two speeds are there. The difference in speed may make the slip. In the three phase induction motor also, we are going to see the slip. This is the motor, and we are showing the rotating magnetic field. So there is a revolving magnetic field. What is the name of the revolving magnetic field? It is known as synchronous speed. The synchronous speed it is the speed of rotating magnetic field, and its equation is n is equal to one twenty F by p. And what are the general conditions? If the poles are increasing one twenty F by p, the p is in the lower part. So as the poles are increasing. The speed will decrease, and as you know, if the frequency is increasing, the speed will increase. But in normally, our frequency will be fixed at like fifty hertz or sixty hertz. Now, the actual speed of rotor, which is measured at the shaft end, we are using tachometer to measure the uh, speed like this. Let the synchronous speed of this motor is seven fifty. It is fixed. It is seven uh, fifty is the synchronous speed, and we are getting. The actual speed of the rotor is seven forty five point four RPM revolution per minute. So this is the actual speed of rotor. From the synchronous speed and from the actual speed, we are going to tell about what the slip speed. It is not slip. You please note that it is not at all slip. It is known as slip speed. The slip speed it is the difference of synchronous speed and actual speed. That is, slip speed is equal to synchronous speed minus actual sp speed. So we can say slip speed is equal to n s minus n. Don't tell wrongly that this is slip. This is not slip. This is slip speed. Now what is slip that we will be able to see? Before that we will say at start what is the condition of slip speed? What is at standstill? At start at standstill. What is the standstill condition? We are just given the supply and motor does not start at rotation. It is known as standstill condition. Then what happens? The actual rotor speed it is zero when it is standstill. Then what is slip speed? N s minus n. Synchronous speed will not change. It will be same always minus n zero. That is at standstill. It is slip speed is equal to synchronous speed. At standstill, it is synchronous speed only. The slip speed. Now we tell about the slip. The slip of an induction motor. It is a ratio of slip speed to the synchronous speed. And this is the slip of any induction motor. The ratio of slip speed that is n s minus n. To the synchronous speed, and what is percentage slip? Just multiply by hundred, and this is known as the percentage slip of the induction motor. The three new terms that is slip speed, slip, and percentage slip has been described right now. Now at standstill, let us see what is slip. Now at standstill means the speed n will be zero. That is only difference. Now n s it will be common or it is uh, same at any time, and n is zero at standstill. So we can say n s minus zero, that is n s only n s by n s, it is one. So at standstill, the slip of any induction motor will be unity or one. At standstill, it is having slip of one. When it is taken as percentage, it is n s minus zero by n s into hundred percent. We can say it is at ten percent condition. We in the first picture we seen two persons to run in together. If one person is stand still one person is not uh, running what happens there is 10% chance of slipping so this is 10% slip if the rotor is stand still 10% slip it is now we are going to find out one more equation for the actual speed from the slip equation what is that we are going to find out an equation for actual speed from the slip equation the slip equation is ns minus n divided by ns we'll just take ns to the left side so multiply ns into slip that is equal to slip speed ns in ns minus n now 
i'll be taking the part ns only here minus n will be taken left side so it is going to plus n with the x present term so ns into slip it in the common bracket plus this n is equal to ns and then what we are going to retain n here in the left side and ns minus this step will be the new equation that is n is equal to ns minus ns into slip when we are reducing that equation we can see n is n is equal to actual speed is equal to ns into 1 minus slip ns into 1 minus slip that is actual speed of the rotor is equal to ns into 1 minus s that is if you are having the data of slip and if you are having the uh, synchronous speed directly you can calculate the actual speed now this is the uh, motor at standstill there is a revolving flux and there is a non rotating rotor the rotor is standstill and you already know the synchronous speed equation is ns is equal to 120 f by p and this condition is rotor at standstill and there will be maximum slip as we have discussed earlier when the rotor is standstill the slip is 1 and at this condition the maximum flux cut will be there and maximum emf will be induced and the frequency of rotor emf now in this condition we can compare it to a transformer how transformer works there is a primary there is a secondary there is no rotating part same thing here there is a primary rotating field there is a primary supply part and secondary is not rotating that is similar to a transformer maybe it is short short circuited still the frequency of induced emf will be the same as supply frequency as in a transformer so the induction motor works as a rotating transformer in the secondary in this condition the transformer is not uh, secondary is not rot rotating it is similar to transformer what happens the rotor frequency will be same as supply frequency at standstill the maximum frequency or the supply frequency will be available in the rotor too now in the next moment the motor starts to rotate you can see the revolving flux it is moving together that the rotor starts to rotate to that speed but now it is not in the full speed it is trying to catch up the signal speed it is trying to catch but it is not uh, reaching but it is started the rotation what happens now the rotor is slowly starting we can say the slip speed what about slip speed now slip speed will come to reduce the slip speed will come what is slip speed ns minus n ns is fixed n is increasing that means ns minus will be ns minus n will be decreasing we can say when the rotor slowly slowly starts the slip speed will reduce and slip also will reduce slip speed ns minus n when n is increasing the slip speed will totally reducing the slip, slip speeding is reducing that means the slip also reduces from one slip also will reduce so when motor starts and starts rotation the slip speed will reduce and the slip also will reduce and when it is reduced from one it is a fraction that is known as fractional slip so the slip in induction motor is always known as fractional slip because it will be less than one always it is under running condition it is less than one and rotor induced emf what happens now the rotor starts rotation then the flux cut reduces the emf also will reduce flux cut as the flux cut similarly will be the emf now flux cut is reducing and the rotor induced emf also will be reducing now the rotor frequency also will reduce as the slip speed is reducing the frequency also will reduce slip speed slip and rotor frequency will be reducing or we can say an equation like this 120 f by p is the synchronous speed equation now the slip speed equation from this item we can write it as 120 f dash by p the slip speed equation is 120 f dash by what is f dash f dash is the rotor frequency f dash is the rotor frequency okay now when the slip speed is reducing the emf will be reduced and the rotor frequency also will reduce okay so we are getting a new equation for the slip speed with respect to the rotor frequency now you see the speed is increasing and uh, what happens slip will further reduce the sp as the speed is increasing the slip will increase slip will reduce and rotor induced emf will be still reducing as the flux cut is reducing emf will be reducing now the rotor frequency will be reducing to the very low values 
at start it was 50 hertz or the supply frequency now it is reducing to maybe 1 2 3 5 hertz very less frequency total frequency will be very low at running condition now this condition is that what happens the rotor and stator is rotating at same speed at same speed that means it is rotor is rotating synchronously this is known as synchronous rotation actually in a induction motor this will not happen the rotor cannot rotate at synchronous speed we already know the rotor cannot rotate at synchronous speed we can say the slip is zero if it is rotating like that the slip will be zero ns minus n both are same that is ns minus n becomes zero zero by ns that is also zero we can say the slip is zero at rotor synchronous speed rotation the slip will be zero and no rotor induced emf when there is no flux cut there is no induced emf and the motor rotor has to stop and that is why the induction motor rotor will never rotate at synchronous speed okay we got two equation like synchronous speed equation and the slip speed equation now we are going to divide ns minus n this one divided by ns in the left side let us see ns minus n divided by ns we are taking so ns minus n divided this equation is 120 f dash by p already know ns minus n the slip speed is equal to 120 f dash by p and the synchronous speed ns equation is 120 f by p the second term it is getting divided by okay so ns minus n divided by ns can be written like this how to do that will be just multiplying with the reciprocal like this so 120 f by p will be divided is the division that will be p by 120 f into uh, this uh, slip speed you are just putting the reciprocal here and multiplying now what happens the p and p cancels out each other and 120 and 120 cancels now the ns minus n divided by ns is equal to f dash by f we are getting an equation what is ns minus n by ns it is slip the slip equation is f dash by f the slip is equal to f dash by f where f is the supply frequency and f dash is the rotor frequency so we can say the rotor frequency f dash is equal to slip into supply frequency so you can calculate the rotor frequency by multiplying slip to the supply frequency that is s f dash is equal to f s or s of f dash is equal to s of we can tell so this is the uh, summary of slip speed slip percentage slip rotor frequency